American Gene Technologies is a company involved in the revolution of bringing gene therapy towards important diseases in men. And we have specific targets at our company, but we're part of this new age in medicine that brings cures to diseases that were previously uncurable. Working at American Gene Technologies provides a unique opportunity to blend really a lifetime of uh, knowledge and experience in molecular biology and human immunology and disease into new approaches that can overcome barriers to treatment that we've not been able to overcome until now. Plus, we have the real opportunity to make a difference in human health. We are every day finding new ways to attack diseases. And then our company goal is to take those new methods and turn them into useful drugs that can be administered for human health. Sometimes we use extremely powerful microscopes called electron microscopes to take photographs of individual cells, right? So if we think about a cell that's an infinitely tiny part of our body, you can't even see it with the naked eye, we can only see it with a strong microscope. And then you develop a picture. So you have a photograph where a cell is this big and an HIV is a tiny dot on the side. And all of a sudden, the realization begins that that tiniest of tiny dot can kill a person. It could kill a community. It could kill a world if you don't stop it. And this is an overwhelming realization of the how fragile we are and the sort of knife edge we live on and also the way we attack the problem. So that same little tiny dot that's so dangerous to mankind was then taken into the laboratory, tamed by removing the disease causing parts and we put therapeutic genes back in and now that same little tiny dot has been turned into a delivery method for medicine. This is, a, this is something that I always found personally very, very impressive about the fragility of humans, but now about the potency of genetic medicines. We now have 50 plus years of the molecular biology revolution. And uh, what we have been marching towards through that whole time is how do we make fundamental changes in human cells and human tissues that correct disease processes. This takes an enormous sophisticated knowledge of the disease itself to know precisely what's going wrong that's causing the problem and then a creative approach to design a solution that overcomes that error that you've identified so carefully. During my scientific career I was very fortunate at a number of occasions to make small to medium sized breakthroughs, let's say. And when you do that, you know that you're working at the forefront of a problem. And really there's not that many people working at the forefront of each problem. And if you break through that problem and learn the key piece to understanding it for a very brief moment in time, you're the only person on the planet who holds that key piece in their hand. And it's absolutely, stunningly, thrillingly, addicting event <laughs> that once you've experienced it, you wanna just get back to it. And um, not simple, as I said, I've been doing this a long time. I maybe had this experience three or four times, but it's worth it. <laughs>